Suppose you're an officer in the Army and you're in charge of three squads, okay? And they measure everything relentlessly, you know. Your first two squads are excellent in every respect. Your third squad, nobody can hit the broad side of a barn with a rifle from 100 feet. You would never let one of them go deer hunting in Oregon for fear of what would happen to the people. Right? Now, how would you close this performance gap? Would you give them five tests? Would you take all their money away? Of course you wouldn't. You'd do what the Army does. You'd figure out what the first two squads were doing right, and you'd keep working until they did it in the third squad. Then you would have no performance gap. What's the equivalent in education? Hillary says we should look around America and find 20 elementary, 20 middle, and 20 high schools right now performing at world-class standards of excellence with representative student bodies by race, by income, by first language. Figure out what they're doing right. Pay to put that in every other school in America. That's exciting and positive and much better than no child left behind. President. You don't want somebody to sign these bills that sound good. One last thing on the economy. We do need a different trade policy. One that has labor and environmental standards so we don't lose jobs just to slave labor that doesn't benefit another country. We do not need to pretend that we don't have to have trade, however. We're 4% of the world's people with 22% of its income. We got to sell something to somebody. <laughs> the problem is you would not have a contract with someone across town you couldn't enforce, would you? Wherever the nearest car dealer is, if you bought a car from that person and they didn't honor the warranty, would you ever buy another car? No. no. Of course you would. That's what a contract is. That's where we are in trade. We do need, Hillary says, put labor and environmental standards in, repeal the provision of the tax code that actually encourages people to move jobs overseas. That's not why it was intended to do, but that's the way it works. It actually, you know, people should be able to move their property under our Constitution wherever they want, but middle class taxpayers should not subsidize the loss of American manufacturing jobs, and that's exactly what happens today.